I, I do want to warn, and I, I really would like to engage this conversation with Daniel because you have to be really wary of wishful thinking. I think Fatah made a very grave error in the 1990s by believing that the United States could deliver Israel to them. That was a horrible mistake. And we are now all paying for that. The belief that the United States can deliver Israel, deliver a, a negotiated settlement. I just don't believe that. And you and I have talked about it in the past, and we can have a whole conversation about that, because now you must deal with Hamas. And nothing I've seen suggests that Hamas is inclined to do what Fatah did 12 or 15 years ago. Correct me if I'm wrong. So beware of wishful thinking. We need to be rec we, we need to kind of be mindful of the realities as they exist today, right now, and who we're who we're, who we're dealing with. Um, the second point is, having said that, I still believe that it's an absolutely cru crucial issue to the war on terrorism. I don't dispute that for a minute. It's just I'm I'm much less optimistic in the short term about resolving it through negotiations. I think there there are other ways to do that. We could talk about it. The second thing, though, is, is a much broad, broader point, and that is we talk about the war on terrorism, and it should be referred to as the so-called war on terrorism or just not the war on terrorism because using the military frame, using the war frame, implies two things that are absolutely false. First of all, you do not fight terrorism primarily by military means, and we, the Bush administration, has not fought terrorism primarily by military means. The fav my, famous exam my favorite example is the 14 high-value targets that are, that are held in Guantanamo who were previously held in the secret prisons, including Khalid Sheikh Mohammed and Ramzi bin al Sheib. Not a single one of those 14 were captured by the U.S. military, not one. Every single one was captured by foreign militaries or by our intelligence services acting in cooperation with them. Okay, so that's point number one. The second is that when you talk about a war on terrorism, it leads very quickly to what Daniel said about the danger of uh, this fear of, of a green peril and, and talk of World War IV, which, as I understand it, is one of the top-selling books in the, in the country right now. And that is a very, very dangerous frame for us to be waging this conflict. This is a problem, a serious problem, a problem to be managed. It is not World War IV unless we make it. World War IV. 